What's up guys, Dr. Greg Skelly here with another two minute answer series video. Um, I'm a health and fitness coach and this video is about what is the ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet is a diet that purports to help us achieve our best health by transitioning us from using more carbohydrate as an energy source to more dietary fat and eventually to using more uh, body fat as an energy source. Primary objective of this goal is to help us cut body fat or lose weight with secondary and tertiary goals of helping us to improve digestive health metrics, uh, gut health metrics, uh, metabolic metrics, diabetes metrics, and by increasing our sensitivity to the uh, blood sugar regulation hormone insulin and increasing our sensitivity to leptin, a satiety hormone. Uh, the means of operation here is pretty significant carbohydrate restriction, typically between 10 and 100 grams of carbohydrate per day to specifically put us into a ketogenic state. Now, what this looks like in practice does vary quite a bit. It's often tied in with intermittent fasting where you've got six or eight hours in a day in which you're allowed to have your food intake and the rest of the time you're fasting. That varies. How much carbohydrate will vary based on you and exactly how much carbohydrate it takes to get you into ketosis. And then other things that vary include like maybe dairy is allowed on this plan, maybe it's not, maybe fruit is allowed on this plan, maybe it's not. Generally agreed though that gluten and grains will not be unplanned because otherwise you couldn't get into ketogenic, uh, into a ketosis state very well. And non-starchy, non-root vegetables will probably be your primary sources of carbohydrate. Other than that, you can have a relatively high fat diet, with oils and animal fats, lots of protein in the diet. Otherwise, it is not really a performance-based diet. So if you wanna improve your cross performance, probably not for you. Uh, but it does work for cutting body fat, losing weight, improving these health metrics. So it could be a great option if you can stay the course and keep your carbs low.